Oh, one on the car. Oh, good shot. Wow. I was gonna say, cut out the subtle tactics. I like your style. Gotta go hard to go home. Now do it on a deer. <laughs> I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> what would you call that? A deer? A deer PG? You just call it Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we spent our taxes on that. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Except this time, it's with a new crew, and they may not have been the loud and goofy type that I'm used to. Y'all ever just post some bullshit on the stupid fucking internet? Am I right? Am I muted? I think I'm muted. But god damn it, were they ever aces at Ghost Recon? Like, even the enemies being artificially generated beings in a virtual made-up world, I still felt bad for them. You wanna just light them up? There, it's good, light them up. I got one of them. Okay, there's a second one. <laughs> wow, you guys are really fucking good at this game. <laughs> so good, in fact, that we were tasked with taking down the world's most technologically advanced toaster, which is harder than it sounds. When you turn on the toaster, it's not so scary, but when the toaster turns on you, it's really scary. I did. That's the Razor Toaster. A couple things before we start. One, Ghost Recon Breakpoint drops on October 4th. Pre-ordering the game via the link below gets you guaranteed access to the September 5th beta, and thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring the video. And it's an alpha build, so if you see something goofy or out of place, it's a work in progress. And two, I am humbly sorry to all of you Maverick mains out there. In the last video, I showcased the use of a blowtorch to infiltrate compounds by cutting fences, and I referenced Thermite instead of Maverick, the operator whose whole job is blowtorching shit open, and I apologize that I made you Maverick mains make sad Maverick noises. I don't know, for some reason anytime metal is being destroyed by scorching hot heat, my brain immediately starts to think. When you mix fuel, metal oxide, and metal powder in just the right way, you sure as hell aren't making pancakes correct. Beyond a really big fucking sorry coming right up. The Ace Squad consisted of three other members on Mission Toaster Exterminatus, one being my buddy Star Snipe, who I can only describe as a melting pot of friendship. How'd you survive that bullet, ass? We have the power of friendship. Huh? I'm not scared. Jay, that was always one step ahead of me, at the very least. God, Jay, you're like fucking mountain goat over here. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I was just thinking in my head, like. Like the tiniest little edge on a rock surface, and you're sprinting up that bitch. <laughs> and the OG himself, Hutch, who boasted a great attitude and broken legs. Go ahead and sit this one out, boys. I got it. Check out Hutch Take limping it. his ass off over here. <laughs> <laughs> War as hell. Especially with broken legs. Put the three of them together with my fat ass trying my hardest not to be a shitter. One hell of a combination, if you ask me. Down the ground. Got him. Rocket launcher across the way. Whoa. He's down. Oh, shit. I think I might be able to hit him. Oh, I shot, at the, I shot at the pilot. He's going down. Oh, no. Rip the homie. Poke your head up, nerd. Poke your head up. Can I Can I take the shot? Oh. Landing. What? <laughs> Good shot. Oh, shot God. Behind oh, God. Us. I got the pilot. Oh, he's done so. Good one. You guys are so fucking good at this game. This is not at all what was happening earlier. To the point where they were almost too skilled. Like, because they executed anything with a pulse, the only real threat on the battlefield were mortars. Watch out, watch out, there's a mortar on you. No, oh, no, I'm dodging, I'm dodging. See, I dodged. Double tap B, I'm out of here. That was badass, but stupid. God, oh. Yeah, not a go. <laughs> oh my god. Yet even mortars didn't stand a chance against these guys because they straight up eagle eyed their emplacements and took them out. Oh, I see the mortar guy. That asshole's over there. Can we hit him? Yeah. Well, they drop. Yeah, let's aim a little bit above it. Can you take your suppressor off? I'll take my suppressor off. Oh, nice lob. That's great. This was the start of something terrible, because with them exterminating anything in sight, I had the mental brain power freed up to ponder whether those explosives dropping out of the sky were actually mortars. I just needed to know. It felt so important at the time that I labeled it correctly, because much like calling a magazine a clip or a clip a magazine, it's a death sentence on YouTube to get it wrong. So I pondered on. Here comes the tangent. At first, I was thinking mortars, because the near vertical angle of the landing meant it wasn't artillery. The difference between the two is that artillery is a whole team of dudes working with a huge cannon and lots of mass. God, I fucking love trigonometry. Whereas a mortar team could basically be one dude dropping ordnance into a PVC pipe while sipping from a Gatorade bottle until he realizes that the bottle isn't filled with Gatorade, it's filled with CLP used to clean the inside of the mortar tube, but he also doesn't give a shit, because he's a mortar man and he's had worse. You think I give a shit? I can't even hear music anymore that isn't based. Boosted. Which is when it hit me like a truck. 
rather an artillery strike given the literal situation that I found myself in, that the explosion yielded from the impact was way too large to be mortars. Even 120 millimeter mortars don't make a boom that big. Oh, the, that's a mortar. Are you the that's bearded a black dude, Hutch? That, that's a mortar. Oh my god! <laughs> so I lugged my fat ass up the hill to get a closer look, and I have never been happier to get blasted with explosives. Uh, can, oh yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. And just like that, case closed. The constant propulsion, the arrival time that was almost immediate, it's a missile. It's a god damn missile. I've never felt so lied to by my teammates in my entire life. Like the entire time that they were screaming mortar, mortar, mortar. Bullshit. Those bastards lied to me. Those mental gymnastics of figuring that shit out was a full hour of my life. I mean, they're a couple other things along the way, like smashing into a gate and killing Star Snipe. <gasps> Little bit of a bump here. Huh. Huh. Soft landing. And we're here. Oh, what the? And that other pit stop where I lived up to my ghost title by slicing a total of four Achilles and two jugulars. Come here, you fat nerd. Shot oh, there's two up here. I'm gonna get them both stealthily. This guy's not noticing, okay? Don't freak out his... I didn't just murder your buddy in cold blood. Yes, this is so stylish. Oh, I snapped his neck. We're well, good. We're good, fellas. Mission accomplished. But after all of that and the whole crusade to figure out what the ordinance was, came the real mission, the toasters. I should call them behemoths, given their intelligence and firepower, but it's far less intimidating if I call it a toaster. Technologically advanced toaster. Given that we got our shit rocked trying to take these things down with Tux, Roy, and Skittles, I was taking things ATAC. As tactical as possible. No excuses, no mercy. Okay, you ready? We're ready, boys. Okay, okay. EMP out, yeet! All right, get ready to hit him, get ready to hit him. Hit him now, hit him now. Send all you got! Everything, everything. Try to swap to frags if you got it, and frag him, frag him. Yeet, yeet! Hold on, I'm getting more rockets. Yeet! I'm gonna EMP oh, again, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna swap out an EMP again, yeah. just, just, walk, just light him up, just light him up. Frag him! Yes, oh, oh my god, we fucked his shit up. The my best. goodness. Honestly, that was perfect. I don't think you realize how many mortars we got hit with the first time that we did this and we got our shit slapped. That was amazing. You guys said this was hard. No. Well, with that kind of coordination, I guess it's not. You guys were just bullseyes with those RPGs. Glossing over that whole hutch demolishing our entire squad with a Rat 4 rocket launcher nightmare. Okay, EMP's ready. You ready? Yep. yep. Hurry up. Hurry okay. Up. Go. Go, go, go. Yeah, EMP. Oh, oh my god, he instantly destroyed me. What? Did what? somebody what? shoot a rocket launcher? I think that, <laughs> that might have been me, boys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Listen, I feel like I need to take some responsibility for what just happened. Right there. <laughs> yeah, just don't try and shoot a rocket b between that fucking thing. Yeah, don't try to thread the needle with an. RPG or a small? And the time where the toaster was extra angry and insta murdered all of us? This guy's a dick. It was time for Tactical Toaster 2 Electric Boogaloo. And because I may or may not have blown all of my armor piercing rounds on the previous toaster, our strategy could be condensed down to one word Fragmentation. Hey, Nomad, how many grenades should we bring? Yes. Yeah, EMP. Get ready to hit him. Another EMP. <laughs> Boom, hit him once. Two. Reloading, reloading. I got one more EMP after this. Hold on, That's hold on. He's okay, okay. Get ready to hit another EMP. All right, that's my last one. Okay, okay. I'm switching to frags. Frag I'm switching to frags. Frag Throw all your frags. Yeet! Uh, yeet! Come on, take him down. Shoot everything you have. That's so many frag Almost grenades. Dead. He's Please so low. He's so low. Keep hitting him oh, with no. whatever you got. Okay, no, no, no. Oh, no. Watch out. Mortars mortar. inbound. Mortars. Oh shit! Just light him up with whatever regular guns you got. He's so low. This shouldn't be that hard. Oh, no, he's oh, he hit me. Oh. Oh no. Another EMP right here. Fix it. Run away. Uh, EMP or just try to finish him off because he's super low. He's right super Good. low. What's I'm up? Not trying to get What's that? so much. Oh, you got him. You got him. You uh, did it. Woo! Oh my god. Fuck. Really that was so hard. Let's go. Jesus. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. We did it, fellas. We actually did it. We crushed the tyrannical toaster uprising thanks to our coordination and teamwork. And a shitload of explosives. Get it out, get it out. Okay, I hit it once. He's back up. He's back up. But mainly 
teamwork. I'd also like to thank the deer that I shot with a deagle for sacrificing its nutritious meat to provide me with injury resistance. It was amazing not to shatter my femur so much. Is this some kind of Bambi reference? Because I don't think that hunter used a deagle. I'm absolutely thrilled that we got the job done. We truly are ghosts, even though the enemy are technically also ghosts or former ghosts. But just like the big purple guy, sometimes you just gotta use the stones to destroy the stones. And that's about it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. One final thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. So if you'd like to get in on the satisfaction of headshotting someone while simultaneously getting spotted, or the ASMR experience of having your eardrums perforated by a minigun, I love the ear perforating sound this makes. The link to Ghost Recon Breakpoint is down below. And be sure to tune in next time when I tell you that I'm gonna play in VR and then I don't play in VR.